All right, here we are at the gondola. We're hacking up the mountain lake hut the second time. We're yeah. actually gonna do it. We're doing it this year. Do yeah. it. We're doing it. So we've done a lot of adventures and usually they pan out. We hardly ever fail, but I don't know. Was last year a failure? No, we come in the sky pilot. The original plan didn't work anyway. We were trying to get to the mountain lake hut and stay a couple nights in the back country, but we took a wrong turn. We're back on this familiar old trail. This is the trip for redemption. Yeah. So we are 10 minutes into the trail and we're already at the junction that we took a wrong turn last year, kind of. It was so close to that ridge of Sky Pilot that I was like, ah, we could do Sky Pilot and then just drop over the ridge. It'll be no problem. Woo. New trail. No, that one. New trail. New trail. Break from the trees. There we go. Good times. Oh yeah. Oh, get your mouth under that. <laughs> Sweet. All right, into the Alpine. Time for the good views. We're just in between Goat Ridge and Co-Pilot and we're just going to cross the call here and dip down behind. All right, this uh, backside of Co-Pilot is a little gnarly. There might be something down below you to the right. I don't know, I thought I saw a rope down there. Maybe not. <laughs> Left does not look good, that's for sure. Okay, this is a little bit more tricky. Climbing on the shale in the rain while it's shifting under your feet, going down the mountain. This is looking back at the call between uh, Goat Ridge and Co-Pilot, and we've just been making our way along this pretty steep slope here. So we finally see our destination. Right there is the mountain lake hut. How long have we been going? Like six hours? Six hours and uh, almost 14K. We're just under Sky Pilot, pretty low spirits. We haven't found a water source the whole trip yet. There's Mount Shear and Sky Pilot in the background. Way to go, guys. Okay. Home stretch. There's Red Mountain and Ben Lomond. Two fun looking objectives for tomorrow. I'm getting the first glimpse of Mountain Lake, and it's a beaut. Looks like a good place for a swim. Finally here. Look at that lake. Wow. Doesn't get much prettier than this. Nicely done. 
You stay there for a bit. GPS just clocked in at 19 kilometers. Took us over eight hours. That is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. A little hut here, our home for the night. We made it. Finally. All right, let's give this a look. Okay, so pretty bare bones. There's a propane heater in here and a loft upstairs. That is pretty much it, unless people left some goodies. Ooh, like sparklers. Oh. Welcome, buddy. Made Make it. yourself at home. Made it. What was that? There we go. Happy birthday to us. Oh, two spots. We made it to the hut. <laughs> Right, we're at Mountain Lake Hut, just catching the sunset. There's Steve and his mosquito Super net. Super relaxed. There's tons of mosquitoes out there. It's a beautiful night. Beautiful sunset. Crazy amount of mosquitoes. Woo! Isn't this the cutest little outhouse in the world? No Reader's Digest necessary. It's adventure time, but we're all pretty tired from our hike last night. But we're gonna head out for some peak bagging in the direction of Ben Lomond and we'll see what happens. Ben Lomond is actually in that cloud at the moment, which we are not celebrating. Red Mountain here, and then our chosen peak, Ben Lomond. Currently socked in, but possibility of clearing. After a little lunch, Ben Lomond, the sneaky coward, has decided to show himself, so let's get at it. Simply breathtaking here on top of Ben Lomond. I can be up here all day. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard to go down. <laughs> well, we just finished down climbing off of Ben Lomond. Now we got our sights on Red Mountain there. If we have the energy. I'm feeling pretty good today. All right, let's conquer it. making our way up Red Mountain, but spending a lot of time looking back at Ben Lomond. Man, what a nice peak. All right, here we are at Red Mountain. Spectacular views. Sky Pilot, Mount Sheer, Mount Halbrecht. What we're looking there is black tusk. It's peaks, peaks and peaks. We actually left Jeff on Ben Lomond. Let's go see what he's up to. Oh, and hey, I can see Mountain Lake from up here, right through the valley there. Did you miss us? We're almost never good at taking the same way back, so we're gonna try to just beeline it there on the left side of Mount Shear and get back to the mountain lake cabin. 
Home sweet home. I know we've had like 17 adventures today, but I wanted to fit one more thing in because we found this printout showing that there's a mine shaft near Mountain Lake. And so now I'm crawling over the hills, trying to match up this document to the landscape. Now I'm almost positive that I have the right location. It's the exact one from the picture. There's only one problem. All right, this is not cool. This picture clearly shows an open mine shaft. This one is cemented in. All right, it's early Saturday morning. Just woke up, very peaceful, except for the mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> So today we decided that we didn't have the energy to hike the 20k scrambling back past Sky Pilot. So we decided to go a different route out the Furry Creek FSR, which means we're gonna have to hitchhike back to our car if our car is there. You don't always win for weather. No views this morning. Man, we motored down this trail like a little bit over an hour and we're at the bottom. 12 kilometers of lonely FSR. All right, end of the trip. We did it. Woo! Did it. Except for it's not the end. We've got to hitchhike back to our car. Anyone want to help? Anybody? Anybody? Thank you, random guy Jeff. Jeff? Yeah. Jeff for the win.